Brace yourself. Tomorrow, hundreds of booze-filled Santas are set to take over parts of the city for the annual Santa Con. All right, Stephanie Bertini live in the East Village with everything you need to know if you are taking part in the annual holiday event. It is not for the faint of heart, Stephanie. <laughs> Look, whether you love it or hate it, the countdown is on. SantaCon starts tomorrow morning in Midtown, making its way through parts of Manhattan. This bar behind me over my shoulder here, one of the many venues participating in the annual SantaCon event. So here's a look at last year. We expect, of course, much of the same this year. People dressed up like Santa, Mrs. Claus, or in other Christmas-themed outfits, and bar hopping. The annual bar crawl is a major event, and it raises money for charity. You can purchase a ticket. It's $15 on SantaCon's website. That's SantaCon.nyc, and that ticket allows access to the participating venues. SantaCon partners with several charities. As for the rules, SantaCon says don't mess with kids, cops, bar staff, or New York City in general. Behave. The starting point is Broadway and 40th Streets at uh, 10 a.m., that's when it starts, and that's where you can expect it to all kick off with dancing in the streets. We'll be out there. Oh, you're planning to be out it's there? It's going to be the best time of the year. It's really festive. It's a New York City thing. Like in years past, the MTA will ban the consumption of alcohol on Metro North Railroad and Long Island Railroad trains during SantaCon. The MTA Police Department will have increased presence, we're told, to enforce the restrictions. NJ Transit has the same alcohol restrictions during SantaCon, and the NYPD will be out. Police are reminding everyone open containers are not allowed in public. Back to you two inside. Rule number one, two, three. Behave, behave, behave. Yeah, indeed. We'll see if it goes like that. <laughs>